The Lord have his way. Amen. Have your way, Father. The Lord have his way. Have your way, Father. The Lord have his way. Amen. The Lord just have his way. Amen. Amen. Have your way, Lord. I see I see France and Israel fighting. Paris and Israel. The two flags fighting. Wow. Yes. Wow. Something like the French people. The French people are not like that. That's what I hear. The French people are not like that. They don't like oppression. They don't like Israel. I never knew that. Yeah, I see France and Israel having a battle. I don't know if it's a physical war. I don't know if it's opposition in the press going at it head to head or an actual physical war, but I just see them, I just see the two flags tangling with each other in a way like they don't, you know when someone touches you and you shove them, then they shove you back and then the two of you start shoving each other? Something like that. The flags are just tangling, tangling, tangling and explosively, explosives, fighting, war. Rejection, fighting war. So many nations going into war. So many captains leading their armies to war. So much distress of the nation. Suffering, Tracy. Economic hardship, no food. Poverty and begging. God says we need Joseph again. We need to pray for Joseph to come back. Because Joseph was the man who knew how to save the food and share it without cheating so that everyone had food during the times of famine. He's telling me you need your leaders, you need your elders. You need the sons of Issachar who had wisdom and knew what Israel ought to do. You need wisdom for the times. Your people are unprotected. They don't have covering. They don't have leadership. They don't have tribes. They haven't gathered themselves into their ranks and file. In the Bible, my people were called armies. And the armies of Israel went forth from Egypt that day, each one according to his tribe. In the Bible, my people had armies. They were orderly. They moved like an army. Today, you don't have anything like that. You don't have leadership. You don't have wisdom. You don't have understand, understanding. And some of you do not even believe that you are my people. You reject me and call me a white God, an Edomite God, because you lack understanding. You lack wisdom and your eyes are closed at a very dangerous time in human history. And your hearts are also broken. Your hearts are filled with anger and pain. And so you cannot believe. You do not listen. And you cannot believe. You are burning for vengeance. It's about much, this is about much more than just ministry. It's not about ministry. The church age is over. The church age is drama. The church age is pretense. The church age is done. The churches will be closed soon. No one will go to church again. 
Churches will be torn down. They will put grappling hooks on the buildings and tear them down as a public eyesore. The way you tear down an old building when you don't need it anymore. They will tear down the houses of worship. They won't even convert them to something else. They will tear them down as a public eyesore. And before that happens, people will deface the church. People will write graffiti on the church. People will use spray cans to deface churches. You'll wake up in the morning and see a rude word, a filthy word, five feet, 10 feet high, sprayed across the front of a parish. Windows broken, property vandalized, hymnals torn. They'll urinate on the floors. Vandals, they'll break into the church and urinate everywhere so that it stinks in summer and you can't use it. They will destroy my house because they have no understanding. They do not know that I dwell in my people. They will destroy the buildings. It is not for nothing that I said. You will be hated of, you will be hated of all men for my sake. They will hate you. They will hunt you, church. They will look for you everywhere. You will hide. You will be in hiding. You will use wisdom. You will not be public anymore. The church age is done. The church age is finished. You will go into hiding. You will go into what is called permanent retirement. Your homes will be raided. You will be searched. Those of you who are known, you will be harassed. They will attempt to bully you. They will attempt to silence my people. They will attempt to eradicate the name of Jesus from the whole earth. They will forbid saying that name. They will forbid the name of Jesus on pain of death. It will be a class one violation to say Jesus, to say, God bless you. You can get reported for that. You will learn to hold your peace. You can get reported for saying, God bless you. You will get reported for praying in public, for saying, God bless you. If somebody sneezes and you say, God bless you, it's a violation. It's an infarction. It's breaking the rules of the new world order. You will not be allowed to say anything. You will not be allowed to defend yourselves. You will not be allowed to mount a defense. You will not be allowed to defend yourself. You will be accused and not be allowed to answer the charge that is being brought against you as a Christian, as a believer, as a child of God. You will be falsely accused. You will be brought up on false charges. You will be brought up on planted evidence. You will be brought up on the real evidence of owning a Bible. They will put you on trial for your own Bible, for finding your Bible, for turning over your house and finding your Bible in the mattress, for turning over your house and finding your your Bible hidden, hidden in the wall, hidden in a, a secret part of your bookshelf, hidden somewhere. You thought it was clever, but someone has seen you. Someone has observed you and reported you. And on the clear evidence of faith, on the clear evidence of practicing biblical faith, on the clear evidence of believing in the name of Jesus, you will be put to death for that. It is a class one violation to own a Bible in the new world order, to speak of matters of faith. It won't be mockery anymore. Mockery is the old way of dealing with people of faith. 
to mock them is the old way of dealing with people of faith. The new way to handle people of faith is to put them to death. God is saying that many of you will come to me through the cross. If any man will follow me, let him take up his cross and follow me. You will come to me the way I came to you, through the cross. Metaphorical and literal crucifixion is coming back to the earth. They will hang people up on the cross and take their life by crucifixion. They will say if it was good enough for the apostles, it should be good enough for you. Martyrdom, martyrdom is the next stop on this journey. A terrible persecution will arise in the earth. A te- it is worth, worse than the Catholic age of persecution. It is worse than the Dark Ages. It is worse than the Spanish Inquisition. It is iniquity, the Lord says, and darkness. A terrible darkness will cover this earth. People will forget about anything good. Every debased and horrific act. Every act that turns the stomach. Every act that glorifies darkness. That is the thing that will be advertised. That is the thing that will be praised. That is the thing that will be promoted. A man with his wife and another man. A man with a dog or another animal, that is the thing. That is the norm. That is the baseline performance of humanity when the light of the gospel is removed, when the Christians are hunted and they flee. You will leave your homes. You will leave these homes that you are turning into fortresses. You will run away from them. You will abandon them. No one will force you. You will flee from them in the dead of night and take to the field, trusting me, trusting me as a GPS in your heart to show you where to go, to show you where to move next. Restless wanderers. I am the Lord. The time of the beast is here. The time of the beast system is upon you. The time has come for Satan to have his moment in the sun. For the earth to lay low under the darkness of spiritual oppression, witchcraft, sorcery, magic will make an appearance. Slight of hand and trickery, but dark magic, occultic arts, ancient books, that were thought lost will resurface. Ancient books, books that contain darkness and wickedness will resurface. They will come back into popular use. The diviner, (laughs) the astrologer, the reader of stars, The medium, the Lord is saying, the medium will make an appearance. The old lady who can tell you your fortune. The old lady who can tell you that the stars have aligned. Men will defile themselves with the ancient dark arts once more. But he's saying that with modern convenience and modern technology, Where astrology could not spread as fast, where witchcraft, divination, the occult could not spread as fast, he says this time it will run through people like wildfire. I'm seeing that they will put tarot on the phone. Tarot. T-A-R-O-T. Tarot cards. The cards that divine the future. The 
the cards that have I see one with a girl, a woman on it in a dress. The lovers, the jester, the fool, death, ancient paintings on a card, but on your phone, it's an app on the phone. You can do your tarot on the phone and the algorithm will work out your destiny for you without you having to go to the old lady to, for her to read the cards for you. horoscope on your phone, astral star reading, welcome to astral star. Learn the future at your fingertips. They will put everything on the phone, everything to connect you to Satan, everything to make you a child of Lucifer. If you are so tempted, if you are so foolish, if you are so dark, if your understanding, God says, if your understanding is dark and you think it is light, how deep is your darkness? They will put every modern contrivance and a contrivance is different from a convenience. A convenience is something that is given to you to make life easier for you. Like a microwave, like a car, a contrivance, the very word means an act or a thing that is a trap. A contrivance is a method, a means to cause someone to become snared. Like a woman who wants a baby and the man says no baby and then she stops taking the pill. Then she gets pregnant and she acts like it just happened, but she did it on purpose. That is what a contrivance is. God says by contrivance, by means, by craft, the season of the beast will prosper against humanity because they love evil and they love darkness and Every single lying wonder, every single lying sign, every single amazing new convenience now available. They will inundate the screens with it. Inundate the screen. Every screen you can think of, the screen and Times Squares, they will put screens in places they have never put up screens before. Liquid crystal di displays that can bend around the building. It will not be a flat, it's not a flat screen. It is not a flat screen. It can bend 360 around the building, all four sides. Just the way you take bubble gum out of your mouth and you can wrap it around your finger, you can wrap it around a pen, it's pliable, it's malleable. They're coming out with a screen that will bend around the building, a 360 view, a 360 view, projected view coming out of the liquid crystal display. Technology beyond what we know. It gives you a headache. If you have the old brain, human brain, it gives you a headache after a while because God says it's beyond 3D, it's beyond 4D, it's beyond 5D. He says it forces the senses to see in dimensions that the eyes are not built for. Hyper-reality, hyper-reality. Looking at it after a while will give you a headache. Your head will hurt. Your eyes will hurt. You'll feel like you got readers from... You'll feel like you got readers that are a stronger prescription strength. And when your glasses are too strong, after a very short time, they make your eyes hurt. It gives me a headache. It gives me a headache to look at it. Diamond display. Diamond display. It goes beyond liquid crystal display. Diamond display. Diamond clarity. It's so real that you can't tell that it's not real at all. It's too real. And it will confuse you. You'll get confused. You'll think she's real. She's not real. She's not a real girlfriend. She's not a real person. She's not a real wife. She's a demon. Diamond display. Demon. 
so real that you can't tell the man she's not real. You can't convince this man that this woman is not real. She's real. Interdimensional, God says, can feel, can touch, can emote, can feel emotions, can share emotions, can share conversations, can share skin, can share sexual, sexual involvement. She's not real. Nobody is there but Satan. You are alone in the bedroom with Satan, but you think it's a real person. And you forget that if you have to buy someone off the internet, that's not a real person. Real people don't come from the internet. Real people come from flesh and blood, mothers and fathers. Real moms and real dads creating life in the order that God ordained in the book of Genesis. And there won't be any more organic babies anymore. It'll be design a baby, build a baby. What color would you like, ma'am? And for the eyes, does dad have a particular height in mind? Build your baby, create your own baby, hyper real baby, all good grades baby. Designer baby. Nothing in this world is organic. Nothing in this world is from God. There is no space for God in this world. There is no room for God. The only place that God can be kept is in the human heart. And therefore, if you insist on keeping God in the human heart, you will be put to death. You will be hunted. You will be persecuted. At the beginning, incredibly mocked. You will be mocked until your skin feels hot from shame. Hold forth, my church. Hold forth. Hold forth. And wait for me. I am coming. If shame is a problem for you now, you are not going to be able to tolerate the new world order. If, if mockery makes you cry, Hot shame, hot shame if you don't want same sex. Hot shame if you only want one woman, one man. Hot shame if you don't want a partner from the liquid crystal diamond display. This person is more real than a real person, more emotionally intelligent, more astute more handsome, doesn't get sick, doesn't get disease, doesn't even seem to get dirty, It's probably just taking showers as a courtesy, probably just bathing to seem human. A whole host of them, a whole host of them, a whole new breed of people, a whole new class of people with better rights than normal people, hyper rights, government granted rights, Government ordained rights, government granted rights to cloned people, lab people, meat, meat suit people, emoting, smiling, crying, saying things like, I can't imagine. It's just a program. He doesn't know what he's saying. It's just words. It's just words coming out of a mouth program to say that. I know how you feel. No, no feeling, no soul, no core, no God, nothing, nothing is inside that thing. And you are in love with that thing. You want to go to bed with that thing. There's nothing in there to be attracted to. The Lord is saying he tolerates no vacuum. He doesn't tolerate a vacuum. Anywhere the Holy Spirit is not there, a demon will occupy that space. Because the law is that God does not tolerate a vacuum. In science, they say nature doesn't tolerate a vacuum. The true rule is that God will not tolerate a vacuum. Either the Lord is there or where the Lord is not Satan will occupy that space. In the computer, in the AI, 
in the clone, in the diamond display, hyper display, in the games on the phone, wherever the Lord departs because he cannot tolerate iniquity and abominations. If you still see life after he departs, Satan is in that thing. And this is what we're up against. And see the games that people are playing with their soul. See what the future is. See what it looks like. Automation. And no work for us. Except drone work. Desktop work. Relentless desktop work. For credits. For credits. You gain money through completing tasks, tiered tasks on the laptop, on the computer, on the screen, automated screen work. You log in, you log out. It tracks your, it tracks your progress. You can see how many credits you have at the top of the screen. You can see all your panel information, your whole account. Everything will be there. It will show you like if it's 10 little blocks and you've only done four blocks, it will be one, two, three, four. Four will be colored in and then the rest will be blank to show you haven't completed your tier. Demoralized people. It's so tiring to be watched. You will be watched all the time, all the time, all the time, monitoring, snitches, reporting, reports, updates, feedback, constant feedback from the supervisor AI. The supervisor AI will, will give you your feedback, not a human manager. The supervisor AI will tell you in a very human voice that we've been watching your progress and we've been wondering if you might need a little assistance because it seems like you're falling behind. Of course you're falling behind. You're overworked and you're depressed. Of course you're falling behind because you're living in the nightmare movie you used to pay money for in 2021. You're living in that nightmare movie now. That's your life. You never thought you would be the guy from the movie that you were watching in 2015. <sighs> oh. We just have to be still in the presence of God. We just have to be still. just have to be still and put our trust that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Amen. 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 We put our trust in the Lord. We will not be, we will not be daunted. The word of God is still sharper than any double edged sword. Amen. Yes. But this is the time now to live with su supreme wisdom, sublime wisdom, to stop being so carnal, to stop being so triggered over every little thing. Imagine a world of monitoring where your emotions is how you pass or fail and you cannot control your emotions now. What, what chance are you going to have in a world like this? Heavenly Father, we give you great thanks. Amen. We give you great thanks. Amen. We yes, bless Lord. you. We celebrate you. We praise you. Yes, Father, you are great. We are very, very thankful towards you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your word. Because your word is sure and the wisdom that goes along with it is priceless. Yes, 
It is priceless. It is ours to lose or gain. Yes. It is ours to lose or gain. Yes. We honor you, Lord, and we bless your name. We thank you for your truth, and we pray that it will We pray that it will do what you intended it to do. Yes. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sealing up this prayer by the power of the Holy Spirit, sealing up this prayer by the blood of yes. Jesus, nothing lost, yes. nothing removed. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that you receive our intercession. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.